Hi, in this video I want to explain difference between mitosis and meiosis and as example I will use the oak tree that has uh, um, 24 chromosomes and um, today there are going to be two questions you may stop uh, video here, read questions, answer them and then compare with my um, explanation so the first question is how many daughter cells are formed and what is the chromosome number in each cell so if we have 24 chromosomes so uh, during the process of uh, mitosis uh, this is normal development of the organism when one cell produces two cells and each uh, other cell will produce two more cells and um, that means that if we start with 24 chromosomes and we have uh, to end with 24 chromosomes in each new cell and each new cell will also give us 24 chromosomes so there is uh, no doubling or halving of the numbers so and um, second question if the same cell had undergone uh, meiosis how many cells would have resulted and what would have been the chromosome number in each uh, so the process of me meiosis is um, different when uh, we have a starting number of 24 chromosomes during meiosis we have uh, to have this number because if uh, for example this cell would produce 24 chromosomes plus uh, 24 chromosomes fro from the say this is would be a sperm from from the male side and this would be egg from the female side this would result in uh, new cells whose uh, chromosome number would be 48 and uh, if the process would go on and on so if it's going to be uh, sperm and egg with doublet number so the next cycle would give us 96 chromosome so it's obviously not the case with uh, um, how organism uh, develops and um, in order to be stable we have to um, organism have to um, every time uh, uh, it's uh, divides or goes through the process of meiosis it's have to uh, divide by half so here we have uh, if we start with 24 uh, chromosomes through the process of meiosis we have to halve it so if it is sperm it's going to have uh, 12 uh, chromosomes and egg cells also will have 12 chromosomes and when they uh, merge they would also have 24 chromosomes in each cell and then this cell would go through the process of mitosis just dividing as uh, I show it in the uh, answer for the first question just producing more and more cells with the same number so this is how uh, zygote this is a fertilized egg produce a new organism through the process of mitosis um, so this is a brief explanation how organism develops and how process of mitosis and meiosis is different and on the next slide I will use different example um, from the uh, human genome but before I move to the second um, slide I want to clear uh, something else here so uh, through the process of mitosis 
we start with uh, uh, say 24 chromosomes in order to produce 24 um, two new cells with 24 chromosomes number the same as a starting uh, cell uh, this cell uh, um, have to double its number before uh, division so this this is um, usually a process that is known as uh, cell cycle that starts with G1 that is GAPE1 this is the first stage of the cell cycle that is changed to um, synthesis uh, uh, so uh, when uh, chromosome number is doubling and then uh, there is G2 GAPE2 uh, stage uh, that is followed by um, uh, prophase uh, when uh, chromosomes are condensed and anaphase uh, when uh, all the um, chromosomes are started to pull to the different sides of the um, chromosome and uh, ending with um, telophase when um, one uh, cell divides to the two um, daughter cells so um, for example if we start with 24 chromosomes here this is a new cell um, and this synthesis uh, 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 period of the uh, life cycle of the cell uh, would be doubling of the chromosomes number so here it would be 48 then these 48 chromosomes would start um, to um, be lined in the middle of the cell and pull it to the different sides of the cell and then at last uh, this uh, cell at the telophase uh, stage would form two new cells with uh, 24 chromosomes number for each new cell and um, each new cell would go through this same process of the life cycle um, so uh, actually when we are talking about um, um, normal process of the mitosis it doesn't mean that through the whole life cycle of the cell the number of the chromosomes is the same and stable and 24 gives us one uh, say um, uh, one cell that we start with uh, that have 24 chromosomes um, in it would divide to two chromosomes that uh, have also 24 chromosomes number so it's obviously that in order for two new cells to get the same chromosome number as uh, uh, the cell that we start with the parent cell it should divide uh, it should double its chromosome number so usually through the most of the uh, life cycle of the uh, cell it has uh, actually doubled number of chromosomes and um, with uh, answering the second question the second part of that question um, about um, how many uh, chromosomes uh, how many new cells would be produced um, here is the answer first we start with the cell uh, that just doubled its number before the process of meiosis and it has 48 chromosomes in it and after a uh, stage that called meiosis 1 and it has also stage meiosis 2 so it um, at this uh, stage it divides to uh, two cells whose number 
24 in each, just like uh, in mitosis. But then it goes through the second process of the halving and uh, producing uh, four cells with uh, half the number of the uh, normal cell number. So if it is uh, 24 uh, for the beginning of the cycle, then it uh, doubles before uh, it's going to be uh, divided by half at the um, meiosis 1 and then divided a second time. So uh, we, we are going to get uh, four cells with uh, half the number that we start with and um, when uh, we show an example for the first question we start with 24 and end uh, with two cells with 24 uh, chromosomes in each but in meiosis we start with one cell that has 24 um, uh, chromosomes in uh, G1 stage then goes to the synthesis stage when it's uh, doubling its numbers that uh, would be halved two times so we'll end up with four uh, cells for process of meiosis with 12 chromosomes in each cell and this is how it's different from the um, process of mitosis and on the next slide I will show you a um, different example. And here is a, another example. Um, I'm using um, a human genome. And here is a statement. Humans have 46 chromosomes in each somatic cell. And here is a, on the right side a karyotype of the uh, human cell. And you may try to answer these four questions on the left um, uh, with the help of this picture or you may proceed uh, with my explanation so um, here is the answer um, the question A how many chromosomes does a child receive from, from his father and um, the answer is that uh, uh, we have 46 chromosomes and 23 goes from the mother and 23 go goes from the father side so um, we have uh, 20 we receive 23 chromosomes uh, from the uh, father side and here's the answer second question how many autosomes and how many sex chromosomes so we have to uh, have to divide these chromosomes to sex chromosomes that is uh, these two chromosomes on the left uh, these two chromosomes that I highlight here one is X chromosome that is much bigger than uh, Y chromosome but they still able to pair because they have uh, some uh, fragments present on each of them that um, is homologous and uh, these two chromosomes able to pair during the process of mitosis or meiosis and um, these two chromosomes uh, define the uh, sex of the child so uh, all the rest chromosomes are called autosomes and and we can answer this question that if it is a somatic cell it has uh, 44 autosomes plus uh, two sex chromosomes and if it is gamete uh, uh, male or female 
it uh, has um, 22 chromos uh, autosomes plus one um, sex chromosome. And next question is how many chromosomes are present in each somatic cell? Um, it's easy. Um, it's just um, autosomes plus um, two sex chromosomes. So together it's uh, 46 or 44 plus two. So how many sex chromosomes are present in human ovum? Um, there is um, two types of gametes. Uh, one is uh, sperm and another one is ovum. And each uh, of them has uh, half the number of the chromosomes. So uh, male gamete uh, sperm would have 23 chromosomes and uh, female uh, gamete that is ovum also would have 23 uh, chromosomes and uh, it means that uh, 22 autosomes are present plus one uh, uh, sex chromosome. Um, if we use example sperm it could be uh, y or x and if we use uh, example of the female egg or ovum it's same 22 plus 1 and it only can be uh, X chromosome for the that determines sex. So the correct answer is 1. Um, thank you for your attention. If you like my uh, video and explanation thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will post uh, new videos every week. Um, that's all for today. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.